Karen exposed his husband for being racist. Oh. Sorry, man. I'm so sorry. It's okay, man. It happens. No, I got you. Called you out of your name so bad. Who us? Yes. Who called Tell us them what you called them. What you called us? He called us. <laughs> what you called us? Yes. What's he called us? Give me my <laughs> purse, you <laughs> pussy. You need to be safe. There's a fight going on in the middle of New York City, and this one particular lady is calling out her husband. People were responding to it as she then told a group of black folks that were hanging out there, or whatever they were doing, minding their business. My husband just called you a horrible, horrible name. People were responding to that, but more questions were asked, and the husband actually finally admitted it. Let's watch. You're not doing this. I will be safe. <laughs> Wait, what's he called us? Give it a buck. He said, yes, You said he what? Did, and I never call you what? that. My whole life. Why are you laughing? Not at all, man. Yo, why you did laughing? he laugh? Did he laugh? Did he laugh? I will never protect him, ever. He's a piece of Why he said that? He thinks he is entitled. You want me to punch him out? That's not Sylvie. I don't care what you do. There's a lot going on here. I'm gonna get to that in a second. But as you saw, those guys didn't appear to be all that upset. I'm still laughing through the whole thing as well. But they were egging it on a little bit further. And finally, uh, the husband here had to pull the escape route here. Let's watch how he pulled that off. Oh, you gotta go eat a butt, bro. Can I come and stay with you guys? Can I come and stay with you guys? Nah, man. Yeah, I'm going, man. God bless you. Sorry. Isn't that like the super light beer? What is that? The 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 Miller super light, the ones they have on commercials where they act like they're drinking Gatorade. That's the beer that he handed off in order to run away, away from his wife, still hanging out with folks that apparently he was afraid of. He was hiding her purse in a bag. You can imagine what he probably said to her right when he walked up. Here's what some people are commenting since we're talking about Kimberly versus Karen as she snitched on her husband there. One person said she's not a Karen. That's a Kimberly with a fine self is what one person then said. Another said, I know that's right, Kimberly. And lastly, someone else said, don't ever call her a Karen. Because now they're happy that she decided to expose her husband for being the racist that he was. In that particular situation when it comes to purses and black folks hanging out outside. But um, I have a vote. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me what you think of this, Dave, because by the way, no matter uh, 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 what you think of Kimberly or Karen here, she's still trying to snitch on her husband. And she's snitching on him to the black folks that he then called those names of uh, to her. What does she expect them to do? I think they're both pieces of garbage, by the way. She expects them to then beat his ass. Because then that's what they say. You want us to punch him? Because they know what she's trying to ask them to do. So still weaponizing these black folks. To go beat up her husband because whatever she's mad at him about, maybe he said something, maybe he's a horrible person. Either way it goes, she's looking to weaponize these black folks to go attack her husband based off of what he did. Because she still thinks in Miss Kimberly Karen's mind, hey, you know what black folks do if they hear someone say that word? They go black, their eyes shut, and they just go to fighting. That's still calling folks savages, that's still calling folks that don't think. And one of the guys in the first video said, he ain't say nothing, he ain't say nothing. Because we're like, I see what you're doing here. Woman, you're trying to get us to be weaponized into beating your husband's ass. Does she think far enough to go, what happens after this fight happens? Do police show up and start attacking these three black folks that I've now told to jump on my husband? She doesn't care, she didn't think that far ahead. It's just the way these things work. But it's the same thought process, even if you think this woman is calling out her husband, she's calling her out, him out to these folks that she thinks will then fight for her and that she doesn't care about them afterwards. Uh, you're absolutely right, and her stereotyping of these black folks is uh, is really, I mean, remarkable and good for them. Good for them for to sort of see right through it and to stay calm and not get themselves in any sort of trouble. Um, and because this is look, if I'm a divorce lawyer, I'm like trying to figure out who the hell are these people because <laughs> I'm going to be right there because obviously they've got their marital problems. Uh, that there, there's a relationship issue, but they're also they are bad people. And to your point, not just the man who used the N word, but for his wife to say to be so passive aggressive as to say, okay, I'm going to try to use these people. 
to try to do my dirty work and maybe play on whatever sort of stereotype I have about them and how maybe they'll become violent with my husband, which is what I would really want. Shame on her, if she wants somebody to get violent with her husband, she should do it and let herself be recorded on camera and let the police come and get her. Don't get other people in trouble. There's also this, I think this perception that some folks don't think that black folks know we're called names all the time behind our backs. Like, you know what they called you? It's like, yeah, bro, we know. We know it happens all the time. Um, it happens, the, you know, the, the anger comes when somebody's in your face and thinks they, you know, they're gonna be disrespecting you like that. But we know you guys rap all the rap lyrics. <laughs> we know you guys call names behind folks back. We know the stereotypes that exist. Uh, we know how this whole thing works. If you guys are just figuring it out, then that's up to you. Uh, so these folks knew that as well. I think it's pretty obvious. Uh, so uh, no, not a win for Kimberly or Karen. I guess Kimberly's the next one. 